In this video about saving and loading settings with inside the eCheck environment, I'll take a look at how we can effectively set up your workspace to have an effective process of simulations with inside eCheck. I'm going to take a look at user preferences, libraries, setting up cameras, saving and loading panel settings, and setting up user scripts and user commands for your eCheck environment. I have now opened the eCheck environment. And the first thing before starting any kind of project inside Ecotech, I want to go to Files, User Preference, go to General, and make sure that all my directories are placed correctly. Please note that for Radiance, it should be placed on the C, the C drive directly on the Radiance, and for Winair as well, the C drive. You can also choose where to locate your global library, which is the library that Ecotech will use by default. You can use the modeling tab here to set up uh, your sampling grid size and the default zone height and how uh, rough your sketch accuracy will be and your selection highlight should look like and again how big your selection radius should be and to customize your canvas with inside the 3d editor and the visualize go to localization and it's quite smart with inside you check that you can load settings for a specific project, working on millimeters or a Danish krona or whatever kind of unit for cost you're working with or measuring dimensions, as well as customizing the way that you look at volumes, or temperature, energy, if you want to look at watts per hour or whatever kind of unit you want to have your output in. You can go to options and you can customize a lot of different things. For example, if you want to display your uh, directional arrow when you select an object to see if it's orientated correct as well as your snaps and how you can fix links within the way that I want to look at this or fix links is by just hitting base plane equation and automatically fix links for al alternative material because if you select these two up here it will kind of merge a lot of geometry in your model so the next thing I'll look at before starting any kind of project is to go to my element library and you'll see that within inside the model or project we have a lot of materials but if you have a ma library that you're using you can go to the model tab and you can press this little arrow here and you can load elements from another library into the model that you're working with to uh, reuse some of the components that you set up already so the next thing to understand that things like cameras are you or are materials as well that you can set up for different kind of visualizations and activate different kinds of functionality, your sun path, or shadows, or the way that you look at your geometry. So for example, if I'm working with inside a camera view and I'm activating transparency or cutaway section or whatever, I can always go back by right click and say reset camera view and it will reset to the original material settings here. So this is the way that you actually also, if you want to make a cutaway section, and then you can say right click and you can say update camera changes. So if you go to another view, and you go back you'll see that it still keeps the same settings for the view if you want to make a new material displaying this colorway and this settings here right click and you can see this but go down to select camera and model and if you go to the material here you can see that it's displaying the material go to material properties and just write a new name here cut way for example and apply changes so close and you'll see that it now if I go cutaway to apply change that will now give the view this new name okay one other thing is you can do is you can for example if you go to your grid here and you want to look at your panel here in a different way for example looking at it without your grid lines you can go right click and say save load settings and you can save the panel data here to call this visualization grid okay and if you then it back on and you want to see it with the same dimensions and settings you can load the panel later and you can go to visualization so okay and it will now set the view back to the same settings so that's quite an effective way to make sure that your settings your minimum and maximum values are set up for the same values when you look at it or to make a cutoff to look at a daylight simulation on the ground plane or whatever next thing i've done is that you can customize uh, some user script so what you can do is you just say add edit toolbar button and you go in and you just link to the directory where these links are placed so let's go to go in and say for example animate shadows say okay and just say okay and you can load all of these uh, save and load all of these settings again so now 
if you go back to say animate shadows you'll see that it's now animating the shadows from sunset to sunrise and you can do this with getting in or pulling in grid data or whatever kind of simulations that you want to have a look at so this is just a smart way to customize some of the functionality and speed up your process a bit thank you